Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. The USDA Monthly Cattle on Feed Report highlights the inventory, marketing, and placement of cattle for U.S. feedlots with more than 1,000 head capacity. The January report was released last Friday, and the 2011 placement trends show the effect of the drought on current feedlot inventories. Placements of calves weighing 600 pounds or less were up 19%. The majority of the year-over-year increases came from July to September. Lightweight placements were up 42% compared to 2010, sending 200,000 head of more calves into feedlots. Placements of cattle weighing 600 pounds or more were steady to lower throughout most of 2011, ending the year 3.5% below 2010. The influx of lightweight calves entering feedlots from the south in 2011 pushed total placement numbers 2% higher than last year. What does this mean for the cattle markets going forward? First, it tells us that feedlots have a larger than usual supply of lightweight cattle on feed. This will likely create more variation in 2012 feedlot marketings and has the potential to change seasonality in the fed cattle supply. Also, it suggests feeder cattle supplies this spring will be smaller since the calves that typically enter winter wheat grazing programs were sent to feedlots. Feedlots have already been bidding aggressively for feeder cattle and calves in 2012. It's likely many of the calves that entered feedlots in late summer and early fall will be marketed as fed cattle over the next few months. Providing that deferred live cattle and corn futures prices allow for favorable break-evens, feedlots will be competing with summer grazing operations for calves. Cattlefax expects to see higher demand for calves this spring, and the USDA US average for 550 pound steers could exceed $190 per hundredweight. Weekly fed cattle trade was not established at recording time, and packer inquiry remained light. Bids in the Southern Plains were around $122 per hundredweight, and asking prices ranged from $125 to mostly $126. Feeder cattle prices were steady to $4 per hundredweight higher, and calf prices ranged from steady to $5 stronger. Slaughter cow prices improved $2 per hundredweight. Box beef prices increased throughout the week, but sales volumes were light to moderate at best. Corn prices improved about 30 cents per bushel this week, recovering some of the previous week's losses. The USDA released its January 1st cattle on feed report today. Total inventory was reported at 90.8 million head, down 2% from last year. The calf crop was down 1%, and the feeder cattle and calf supply outside of feedlots was down 4%. Looking to next week, relatively poor packer margins resulted in smaller production this week, which should be supportive to higher box beef cutout and higher fed cattle prices. Fed cattle supplies should be past their winter peak, moving smaller into spring. Expect fed, the fed cattle market next week to trade steady to around $125 per hundredweight. Long-term fundamentals continue to point to higher feeder cattle and calf prices. Demand for all weight classes remains strong as feedlots and stocker operators seek to add inventory. Expect feeder cattle and calf prices to be mostly steady to higher in some markets. Box beef prices are expected to continue their steady to higher move next week, motivated largely by smaller production. Buying for early spring needs will also motivate higher asking prices. Expect box beef prices to be steady to $3 higher. Corn prices improved around 30 cents per bushel since last Thursday's close, regaining some of the previous week's losses. Prices will continue to find support around $6 per bushel, with short-term resistance around $6.50 next week. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at cattlefacts.com.